1. Unpacking inspection. Before unpacking, observe whether the dot on the anti-dumping label turns red. If so, please take photos for proof and contact RWD staff for after-sales service. After unpacking, take out all the accessories. Find the groove at the lower end in front of the slide rail of the microtome and the groove at the middle bottom of the back side of the instrument. Hold the front and back grooves of the microtome with both hands. Aim the hand wheel at the chest and lift both ends at the same time to carry the microtome. Move it to a load-bearing, stable, horizontal, and non-vibrating platform. 2. Introduction to main configuration. Host. Blade carrier. Other accessories. Certificate of approval and configuration list. User manual. Cloth cover. Slide. Blade. Paddle tray. Power cord. Internal hexagonal wrench. 3. Installation of blade carrier and addle tray. To install the blade carrier, loosen the lock lever at the bottom of the blade carrier. Slide the blade carrier along the slide rail into the scale between 20 and 30. Tighten the lock lever to fix the blade carrier. Installation of addle tray. Push in the addle tray along the slide rail to install the addle tray. 4. Introduction to main structure. Parameter adjustment knob. Feed adjustment knob. Touch screen. Specimen fixing system. Blade carrier. Addle tray. Hand wheel. Hand wheel lock. USB interface. Fuse. Power switch. Power interface. 5. Adjustment of blade carrier position. Loosen the lock lever at the bottom of the blade carrier. Adjust the front and back position of the blade carrier and screw the lock lever. Loosen the middle lock lever. After loosening, you can adjust the position of the bracket body on the blade carrier. After adjusting well, screw the lock rod. Loosen the lock lever at the top, and the blade can be installed. Push in the blade along the side gap. Screw the lock lever and fix the blade. If slicing operation is not carried out, the blade guard can be pushed up to avoid scratching the operator. Put down the blade guard, loosen the lock lever, and take out the blade. When replacing the blade, pay attention to the position of the cutting edge to avoid scratching the finger. 6. Adjustment of blade carrier angle. Use the complementary internal hexagonal wrench to loosen the hexagon socket head cap screw and adjust the angle of the blade carrier. The factory angle is set to 5 degrees. You can adjust it according to the actual needs. Tighten the knob after determining the angle. 7. Introduction to Specimen Fixing System First, loosen the Quick Clamping System locking knob. After that, adjust the X-axis direction specimen clamp adjustment knob to control the angle of the X-axis direction and adjust the Y-axis direction specimen clamp adjustment knob to control the angle of the Y-axis direction. With each turn of the knob, the sample will be tilted by 2 degrees and 4 turns can be rotated in both directions. The current angle can be determined by the indicator dial. 
After adjusting, tighten the locking knob. To install and load the sample, first press the lock lever on the universal specimen clamp and install the wax block prepared in advance on the universal specimen clamp. Then, loosen the lock lever. The wax block can also be placed horizontally.